You'll notice this part of your drill, called the clutch, has numbers all over it. And it's actually pretty important to have your clutch set to the right number depending on the work you're doing. Simply put, the clutch controls how much torque your drill will use when you're driving fasteners. And you can kind of think of torque as how much force is being applied. The reason drills have this clutch control is so that you're able to drive your screw to the desired depth without disengaging the motor or so that you don't overdrive the screw. If the motor is disengaging, meaning you're driving the screw and suddenly the screw won't go any further, then you need to set the clutch control to a higher number. If you're overdriving your screws, meaning they're going too far into the wood, then that means you need to set the clutch control to a lower number. There isn't a one-size-fits-all approach to the clutch control. It depends what fasteners you're using, the material you're driving into, etc., as to what number you set the clutch to. You honestly have to experiment with it to find the right setting for your project. One where you can drive the screw without disengaging the motor or overdriving it into the material. Just remember that the lower numbers equal lower torque and the higher numbers equal higher torque. And do not set the clutch control to the drill icon when you're driving screws or other fasteners. The drill icon is only for drilling holes. And that's it. Please consider giving the video a like and thanks for watching.